Hello there, this is Vin Fournier of Benevolent Cytochorum. Going to uh, go through Proverbs 14, 20 and cognitive functions, and it sounded familiar to another one I had read, I guess 10, 15, or no, it was, well, I've read through the Bible a couple times, or at least most, in the NIV fully, and then uh, NLT a bit more, not fully there, but most in a couple other ones, but either way. Yeah, there's Proverbs 19.7, which I've, I'm yet to get to, of course, since I'm going through, like, the sayings of the wise portion between Solomon's preamble and the last two chapters, which are by Solomon as well. These would be by a collection of sayings that he wrote that of his friends, mostly, I suppose. But, uh, anyway, this would sound pretty much like that. This, not as much. But, uh, I think there was another verse along the way, too. Anyway, though going to uh, read a bit here friends shall detest friends poor uh, but friends of the rich are many quotation mark friends of course right the poor man is hated even by his own neighbor but the rich has many friends the poor is hated even of his known neighbor but the rich has many friends the poor man is hated even by his neighbor but the man of wealth has a uh, number numbers of friends and it's pretty much that throughout. Uh, it's like, you know, if, when someone has a need, it's annoying to most. So they ignore them, or otherwise, you know, to save resources of their own kind of thing. And that's a real joy when you don't like starving to death and there isn't any real work. Because everything's always taken up, or you have employers which are garbage that are too customer minded to ever hire anyone that they're not related to or something like that anyway so yeah and this makes me think a little bit of like uh, Fiddler on the Roof if I were a rich man although this isn't particular to having many friends this line but and it won't make one bit of diff and pausing it so I don't get the copyright strike thing, or well, not strike, but claim. Friends, if I answer right or wrong. This is like you know Bill Gates and all the other jerks that, uh, you know, truth is truth, and it doesn't really matter if one person has a degree or not. But this is how it goes, though. When you're rich, they think you really know. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah. This I am not sure about, though, as to what it would be. It's not necessarily as much like an abstraction as with, say, the last one, which I am guessing is INFJ, probably Nathan. But, yeah, this is sort of like, could also be at least SE anima where for INTJs where FE polar is a thing. And it is sort of an abstraction, but not quite an introverted intuition abstraction, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be maybe INTJ, because it stinks when you're tactless, and pretty much the only reason people would like you is if they can get stuff from you, like, uh, with Darcy in Pride and Prejudice, where it's like, uh, even from the start, uh, she said uh, that she doesn't care if he's a bore as long as he's rich kind of thing. And then, of course, later she says, Oh, no, I'm not like that. It's like, oh, sure you aren't, lady. Uh, whatever, though. But, yeah, I'm guessing it's p perhaps INTJ. Because of how... You know... The fourth function makes up for the blind spot kind of thing. Something like that, anyway. So, maybe INTJ then. Anyway, take care everyone and try not to go crazy.